don't know about consistency, but let's see. I'm a little overexposed here. Yeah, there we go. I don't know about consistency, but my alarm just went off at 8 o'clock. I thought the food would have been here before then. Maybe Sundays they let you sleep in. Typically they ring the doorbell after they put the food down, is what I noticed from the first day of quarantine. Being that it's day two, I'm kind of like wondering why they didn't do the same. Plus, typically they beat my alarm. I set my alarm at eight, because that's when food's supposed to be delivered. Yesterday, both times that it was delivered, it was actually like 15, 20 minutes prior to the delivery time. I'm just hoping they didn't forget me and that they're just, or maybe I didn't hear it. I mean, I did set up the camera to capture it. I guess we'll find out. I'll uh, check back in when the food gets here so that I can do a taste test. <laughs> Anyhow, yeah, this is a day two of the quarantine, so. I guess my worries just now were uh, just totally like unnecessary because <clears throat> me saying that I didn't think that they delivered my food, that was just wrong. The food was there. I must have just missed the ringing of the doorbell. Also, I will make note that when I got here the night of, there was this crazy thunderstorm and I was laying in bed and I just heard <laughs> the thunder. I'm like, what is that? So then I, I opened the window and it was pouring outside which is unusual my buddy was like uh, I, I called a friend the next day and he's like oh that typically doesn't happen here during this time it's just one-offs because I was told during my entire stay here that I'd get about six days of rain so hopefully that was one of them but now I'm waking up and admittedly I woke up probably at about like 7 45 ish which I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing just yet, but I woke up at 7.45 ish and when I was looking out the window, as I showed earlier, it's foggy. <laughs> like, you barely see the street below. I don't know how well the camera picks it up because of the difference between a camera iris and your eyes. I could see the street still and I could see like about maybe the first intersection I would say away from us after a field but after that everything just kind of whites out. Anyhow food did arrive and we are good to go so I'm gonna go ahead and get that going. Anyhow let me uh, move the camera over. There we go. I think that looks pretty good right there. Uh, again Last night, I asked for some extra bottles of water, and they gave me three extra bottles of water. And then, let's see what we had for breakfast. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay, so that cake that I got for breakfast yesterday with the chocolate deal, the chocolate was, I think, supposed to be on top. I just didn't notice it. But this time, it looks like it's either like a strawberry or cherry flavor on it. And then we have the fruit again. We have the two different coffees. But I actually, while setting up the camera for the first part here, already made my own cup of fresh coffee using the AeroPress. So the really nice apple juice that they delivered the other day. A single bottle of water in this one, which I'm really glad for. I'm gonna have to call them for more water again because all I have left is 250 milliliters. So, so these are 500 mil milliliters and I only have half of one of these left. So I was doing the survival thing of doing the one sip every now and then, <laughs> which is kind of silly. We have the uh, brown rice tea, which I actually had the other night. That was really nice. Okay, I don't know what this is, but it's dry. So um, we'll open it here in a second. Um, ketchup of the tomato variety, if you're not. <laughs> not American. Another uh, sandwich. Gosh, only some of it is recognizable to me uh, of the characters that is. I started learning yesterday. I started taking notes while watching a YouTube vid. I don't think that's the best way to go about it, but I will download a book today from my local library in California. They have an e-book renting system that I could do, 
and I'll go ahead and do that. <clears throat> Anyhow, we do have a hard boiled egg again. And then finally, another bottle of water, which I was hoping that there was at least two in here. I thought there was only one, so we'll see how that works. I might have to just be ordering another bottle of water every now and then in order to do that. Then we have a fork, um, and that's probably to eat the fruit with. And I do want to get going on this for the fact that uh, I do want to get my trash out at 9 o'clock. And currently it is 8.28, so i got a half an hour here. I think I'll just start tasting the food again, because you don't need to see me eat the entirety of the meal. That way I can get kind of a good taste test of everything. And so yeah, let's go ahead and crack into this. Okay, so let me open this first. Oh, nice. Okay, I understand why they gave the ketchup now. They're potato wedges, commonly known as uh, fried potatoes here in Asia. But yeah, they, they look good. They feel cold admittedly but yeah and then let's go ahead and bust into the sandwich real quick like i said yesterday's sandwich tasted like a barbecue chicken sandwich all right this looks okay so we have either a tuna or a chicken salad sandwich here which fair enough everything here looks uh decent good enough let me just get that photo for mom Okay, and let's uh, let's dig in. So, you gotta just try one of the potatoes on their own. I wonder if they're salted. So, fried potato, and then they are salted. They're cold, but they're good. So that down, then take. Okay, it doesn't smell like tuna, so I'm going to assume that this is a uh, chicken sandwich instead. But. I take that back. It's totally a tuna sandwich. <laughs> Without a doubt. Okay, coffee I made. So I watched another person who was traveling through Korea go through quarantine and he brought his own ground coffee and did his own coffee deal. And I think that was just genius because if this isn't like a morale booster, I don't know like really what is. Maybe the snacks that I bring, and maybe I'll do a video on that later. I, I mean, I'm sure that these coffees are good if I just put the right amount of water in them. I don't know. Maybe I'll start with like 250, maybe less. I think I did 250, 300 liter or milliliters last time because the, the boiler actually has markings for 0.3 liters and 0.6 liters. Weird numbers, I know. I wonder how the ketchup is here in Korea. I know in Japan it's very similar to the United States, but in Thailand it's actually a lot sweeter than it is in the US. And if you get like an off brand, like Heinz is pretty close, I'll say that. But even then, sometimes I feel that Heinz has a different recipe in Thailand than it does in the US. But yeah, let's uh. All right, it's exactly the same. And then finally, I'll just try the cake because I did the fruit yesterday already. So we got this cake. So if we get it to focus, there we go. And um, uh, I'm only smelling orange, but that's because I have an orange in my hand. <laughs> I'm gonna go with cherry. That tastes like a cherry. Man, definitely gonna get fat on cakes here because I'm gonna go buy a lot of them. That is uh, so good. Anyhow, so I mean, the overall taste test is that 
The meal is very acceptable. The fruit, I'm sure, is going to be just as good as it was yesterday. Hard-boiled egg. Just as good as it was yesterday. I wish the fried potatoes could be a little warmer, but, you know, bagels and cheesers and such, I'm happy with the fact that they taste good. And the, the tuna sandwich, although that's probably my least favorite style of sandwich, is totally acceptable, and I can totally get full on this. And if this meal doesn't satiate my hunger i still have all the snacks not only that i brought from the u.s but all the snacks from the first night that i was here so i'm gonna go ahead and finish this up and uh yeah we'll catch you in uh, a moment here or two in the next part of this video all right and it is 10 a.m so i'm gonna go ahead and start doing my check-in uh, let me go ahead and grab the thermometer all right so we have the app here i'll just go ahead and go over to it it is the quarantine app and then i do the daily self check-in right here we'll go ahead and hit submit and then let's go ahead and take my temperature all right it is 35.7 i don't know if that'll actually capture that or not but there it is 35.7 so i have no symptoms no fever no cough no sore throat no dys dyspnea shortness of breath <laughs> And I'll go ahead and put this in that I'm at 35.7, hit complete, uh, and then hit submit. It says that I've submitted, so I'll go ahead and hit OK. And yeah, that's, uh, that's everything good to go. So that's how I do the, um, that's how I do, thermometer was going off telling me that I was on. Weird way to say that, I know. <laughs> but that's how I do the check-in. And so I need to do it again at five o'clock. And I think one of my neighbors had COVID or tested positive for it because there was a lot of noise outside just now and a lot of people talking. And I thought they were doing COVID testing again, like going from room to room because they were speaking in English. A lot of this like, excuse me, we need to do a medical checkup and all this. And I was like, oh, okay. So everybody's getting another COVID test on the second day. Kind of weird to think how close I was as in like how close I was to COVID, I guess you could say, being that it was just the room, like, I don't think it was my next door neighbor, but probably two doors down. It wasn't that close, but again, I'm at the end of a hall, so it could also be that they were talking and everything just reverberated as it came down here. Yeah, like I was saying, because I'm at the end of the hall, maybe their voices were just reverberating, but someone definitely did get in trouble earlier and were taken out of this hotel to go to a medical facility. Again, like I said, it was at the very beginning of it, I thought they were just going room to room doing tertiary COVID test for everybody and I definitely was wrong because nobody came by. I quickly just threw on what shirt and because this was what I took off last night before I went to bed, it was the thing that was on top of my clothes pile. It was a shocker really for me. Once, like I said, once they actually really got to talk in, it was like, oh, okay, they're removing him from this hotel. He was having a real hard time understanding. I don't think he was actually of like a native English speaking country. So they were trying to tell him that uh, something was up and that he had to go. Um, just nuts. Anyhow, uh, that's how I do <laughs> my check-in for uh, the government that I do twice a day. We'll probably check back in during uh, lunch in a couple hours here. I'm probably going to be studying a little bit of Korean. I just want to make sure that I could really start to read these things. And I think learning the vowels is going to be the difficult thing for me. I've, I've gotten almost all the consonants down. If not, yeah, well, not all of them, because I'm still trying to understand what the double consonants mean. But uh, it, it just, yeah, it's not clicking. And I will say that having a background in Japanese helps in the sounds of some of them and kind of hurts in the sounds of others. Because I'm thinking, oh, I'll say this like a Japanese person. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, maybe I don't want to say it that way. Anyhow, that's enough for that. <laughs> I'll check back in in a moment. 
All right, and it looks like lunch just came. I think I heard them do it at the door. They didn't ring the doorbell again. I think maybe that's just this guy that's delivering it this time, but we'll see. So it is 12, 11, he just did it. So they were a little late today. Maybe they, they go opposite floors or maybe it's dependent upon who's delivering it, but I don't know, but let's put on the mask and go grab the food. I will go ahead and be right back. This is the trash, and there's lunch. Make sure the door is closed. Put that right there. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and wash up and sanitize and uh, I'll be back in just a second. Okay, and back. Let's go ahead and swap things out. Still have a water on my desk or on my table from when I first had breakfast. I'm actually quite hungry. Oh, look at that, all right. We have a uh, orange juice. So instead of apple, we got orange. And then bottle of water. Then, yep, the same <laughs> utensils kit that they've been providing uh, for the other meals. Ooh, rice, and it's actually warm, which is kind of nice. I think this is a soup. It is a, another soup. So we'll get some B roll footage to put in over here. Darn, they only delivered one water this time. Yeah. Then we have a bento uh, box. It looks like sweet and sour chicken, really, or maybe it's fried calamari. And then we have broccoli. Oh, that smells real nice. Oh, this is that famous seaweed soup. I'm really sure about that. It smells really good. I kind of wonder, it looks like there's a few different things here. We have the broccoli. Uh, with some sort of spicy sauce on it, I assume. We have a salad, traditional kimchi, some sort of pancake, a vegetable pancake, it looks like. And then this is the sweet and sour or something. I think it's chicken. Then I believe that's dressing for the salad. We have the rice, which is kind of hot, which is kind of nice. And then we have the seaweed soup, which is really hard to see there, but it is there and then let me see if i could crack this thing open one-handed here yeah no that's not happening oh it's like a vinaigrette it looks like oil and, and vinegar type of dressing but being that my hand has that sweet and sour sauce on it now they did provide another hand sanitizing i believe napkin or maybe it's like in japan where they give you the hot towels right before this is just your normal <laughs> room temp towels. Yeah, weird, no napkins. I gotta go bust open that stack of napkins over there. Not chopsticks. Just taste the... Yep, it's a, a like balsamic vinegar and oil dressing. All right, let's, uh, let's dig in. I wanna start off with this soup. This is Another one of those things that a lot of folks have been talking about on the vlogs. Yeah, it's good. It's just like a seaweed soup. If you like seaweed soup, you're gonna like that. If you don't, then you're probably gonna wish that you didn't have to, to drink that. But it's lukewarm, which is better than cold. So, I mean, I'm happy with it. I think today I'll start, or for this meal, I'll start with the, um, I wanna say it's chicken, but let's find out. Yeah, sweet and sour chicken, it's good. It is cold, which makes it kind of hard. 
And then go oh, in the same area as the um, sweet and sour chicken, it looks like there is a mushroom medley. So right there. Oh, that is good. Mm. It's like in a garlic oyster sauce. And then here's the pancake that we're talking about. I think that's going to be one of my favorite things to go around trying at all the restaurants around here. Kimchi. Mm -hmm. And the broccoli with the chili sauce. Mm -hmm. Dip a little bit of salad in here. Salad goes great with this dressing. Not the biggest vinaigrette fan, but I mean, it's acceptable. Yeah, overall, it's kind of nice to have hot rice. I mean, it's not steaming hot, obviously, but it's warm. And there's the announcement for us to enjoy our food as we take time. Now, I will try the orange juice that I got, but I think because it is like lukewarm, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the fridge and trade it out for the apple juice that I put in there earlier. And then at dinner, I'll give this a shot and give a review on that. Overall, meal's fine. This is great, plenty of food. I don't know if you could hear it or not, but it's just gonna keep going. Anyhow, I'll check back in at dinner and uh, we'll see what's going on. All right, cool. All right, so it is dinner time. Uh, the doorbell just rang. This is the first time today that the doorbell rang. This is quarantine day two. I don't know if a different guy dropped it, but I will say that I was about to make a cup of coffee uh, instant and I heard a loud noise when he was dropping that food off. So it just happened. I decided that I'll cancel the instant coffee and make it a little bit later. Admittedly, I was told from most of the vlogs that you have like unlimited instant coffee when you're staying at these places that that is not the case um, I've pretty much drank all the instant coffee that they've given me and most of the teas I still have that tea bag from lunch today but I think it was lunch maybe breakfast but still that being said the rest of the coffee that I made or, or got has been uh, consumed let's go ahead and put on the mask and go grab the food so I'll be right back. There it is. The food. Just make sure the door is closed. Bring this over here. Set it down. I'm gonna wash up and make sure that everything is clean. Okay, so I was actually quite looking forward to this meal, quite hungry. So let's see what we got. Oh, and let me go grab my cell phone. It is uh, six o'clock. They're doing the announcement right now that the food has been delivered. I spoke to my sister for like two hours today. It's, it's her birthday in American time. I actually waited instead of calling her on her actual birthday here in Korea, or the day that it was in Korea. Since we're a day ahead, I called her on Sunday rather than Saturday, and her birthday is on Saturday. But that was real nice, but my phone is dead, so that's it was charging. We got one bottle of water here. Two bottles of water here. Ooh, a soup, and it feels warm. The, the lid's actually like sucked in. I think there's like a little bit of a vacuum. So that is exciting. And that was the end of the announcement of letting me know rice. The packet for uh, silverware again. I hope this becomes a daily thing. Like I really do hope that we do get the yogurts um, every night. That'd be, that'd be really awesome. And then, ooh, it looks like pork belly tonight. Tonight's food is a little less than um, the other nights, admittedly. So let's go ahead, get everything opened up here. <laughs> All the other nights. Uh, I've been here, what, a whole of two nights. This is my sixth meal here. I really like these black beans, though, that they gave. 
and so I'm quite stoked to see that they're uh, they're in this bento as well. Um, you should probably learn what the Korean word for bento is rather than calling it bento. I don't even know, like in English, we call them lunch sets, I guess? Lunch boxes? I mean, to me, a bento is a bento. Am I getting off topic? <laughs> the craziness is coming to me. So, okay, yeah, looks good. Um, let's go ahead and quick photo for the fam. And then that glorious B-roll, right? So let's go ahead and see what is up. So again, we have this kind of pork belly stew, it looks like. Some kimchi, some, it's another pickled greens. I forget what it is, but I've had it before. These are the black beans that I was talking about that are really delicious. Lotus root that's been stewed probably. And then some uh, cucumber kimchi, I think it is. And then we have just your basic soup. I'm assuming this is gonna be like a broth that's not really flavorful. It's gonna be in Thai, we call it bland soup and it's kind of what you use to clean your palate. And then of course you have your rice. So that, uh, that ought to be pretty good right there. And then again, the yogurts and two waters. Let's go ahead and dive on in. Put this all together. I was planning on showing all the snacks that I had today, but I ended up actually doing some work to make sure that I could get some things in early, even though it's Sunday. And even though tomorrow, Monday, is gonna be Sunday for my coworkers, I just wanted to go ahead and get all that going so I could be ahead of the game. And then I ended up talking to my sister a lot longer than I thought I was going to be speaking to her for. And I mean, that definitely uh, took up some time. I plan on studying a little after dinner to try to get a couple more hours of Korean learning in just to hit the books every day more every night, I guess you could say, and kind of try to formalize that study session that way. Hopefully it, it goes back to like my, my university days of where I could just start reading things really quickly over and over again. Languages were actually kind of a, something that was easier in my department, for me at least. So hopefully I could get that done. I really do hope through reading to, to be able to learn some of the language here. Like a video I was watching yesterday, this girl was teaching how to write the appropriate stroke order, which was something I learned in Japanese. Apparently it's not that important in Korean. They actually don't follow it too often when they start to write real quick. And I, I think they do the same in Japanese, but as a noob, I feel that it's super important to know how to write it appropriately first before I actually start just busting into it. Um, and kind of one of the things that I noticed is that my hearing is just not that great when it comes down to it. And I'll wholeheartedly admit that. I thought the word pretty, which I've heard on many, many Korean dramas was Nyepu. begins with an N, but actually it doesn't. It's, it begins with a ye sound. <laughs> so with a Y for all intents and purposes here, like the, the easiest way to put that. So it was neat to be able to see it written out. And then a lot of words that I saw were kind of, in Japanese, we call them borrowed words. I don't know what they call them in Korean yet, but like she taught like pasta and lasagna were pasta and lasagna. And so they do have some similar words. I was talking about words that they borrowed from Japanese or maybe that the Japanese borrowed from them. I don't know which way it went, but like kaban and, and shojiki were the two examples that I gave. But being able to see that written down is a lot easier to understand than, than to just keep hearing it. I think my pronunciation will still be horrible, but at least I'll have a, a better basic understanding of the language at that point. And hopefully I could get to a point to where if I'm driving, what, 80 kilometers an hour on the freeway, I could look up a, at a sign and if there's no English on it, which I'm gonna still hope that there is, but if there's no English, I hope that I could read that sign before I pass it. That's the goal. And coming from zero Korean, I think that's pretty aggressive as a goal, but anyhow. So, okay. I think this is actually beef, not pork. I called it pork before, fatty pork, but I think this is fatty beef. <laughs> And it's so good. Oh, the flavor. Oh, it's 
sweet, savory, spicy. It's warm. It could be hotter for sure, but it is warm. Mm. Whatever this is, it's delicious. I just ate a carrot from the same stew or whatnot. Mmm. That is so good. And then some kimchi. Just as good as it was this morning for lunch yesterday. Mmm. Although I, I will admit, I do feel that this one is spicier than it was for lunch. And then the greens, I think they're mustard greens, maybe that's what it is. Mm. Very, very light flavor on that. And there's like sesame seeds and definitely sesame oil in there. The, the greens are kind of like a carrier of that. I think they were steamed and then mixed in with the sesame seeds and sesame oil because uh, the greens are just really, the leaves are tender and the, the stem part is crunchy. And then the sesame oil and the sesame seed just add that little bit of flavor, which is really nice. And then let's check out these black beans again. I think, I'm just assuming they're gonna taste like they did last night. Yeah, we like the same too. If you like beans, these are just delicious. Like sweet, salty, just the perfect mix. And then I believe again, this is the stewed lotus root. Mm. Yep. I think it's stewed, it might be pickled, but it's crunchy, has a light saltiness to it, and then very sweet kind of follow through. And I wanna say there's some, some sort of alcohol that they used in the, the cooking process. Either that, or it's just like a, a really nice quality sweet soy sauce that has like that smooth like alcohol kind of aftertaste. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it's really good. I wish there was more than just two pieces. And then I called this a cucumber just now, but looking at it closely, it looks more like a zucchini. And it is a zucchini. Mm. Real gentle flavor, a subtle sweetness with a little bit of spiciness to it. It's actually really good. Sometimes zucchini could be bitter, not bitter whatsoever. Again, wish they gave me more than two pieces. Maybe tonight will be the first night that I crack into my own um, Insta Ramen. Or one of the hundreds of snacks that I brought. I did bring a lot of snacks. I should really do a video on that. All right, and then here's the soup. I think this is a potato. And it is a potato. It's nice and sweet. Yep. Not bland, has a chicken broth flavor, probably because it is chicken broth, <laughs> but very, very simple and a good way to like in between bites if you really wanted to, to like do a palate cleanser and make sure that you're getting like the full flavors of the next dish. I think that soup will uh, really work out well. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and just finish up this meal and stop the video here. This has been delicious so far, so. You know, I'm only in day two. Maybe I'm in that honeymoon mode and everything is amazing. I mean, it's not piping hot food, but I mean, it's warm enough. I do have the air conditioner going on and it's, you know, if I just let it sit out in the hall or if I talk a lot, obviously it's just gonna sit here getting colder. But this time I will say that the food came somewhat warm and, and it's totally acceptable. Awesomeness, let's go ahead and get this off and I'll see you in a moment.